Okay, so what you're looking at here is a four-stroke 50cc hydrogen combustion engine. Uh, you've seen this video before, I did like, a longevity test on how long hydrogen gas can run for, um, or how long a, a, a specific amount of hydrogen can run for on this engine. Uh, it only required a little bit of gas and it ran for, for over half an hour, so that was pretty impressive. You can check that video out. But uh, I've got the new carburetor on this time. This is a uh, hydrogen gas carburetor which I've made specifically. It can no longer run on petrol. It is 100% for hydrogen. Uh, I've modified the linkages and the air fueling ratios to, 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 to make it run on hydrogen gas. Um, the exhaust rusted off the original one. Obviously a byproduct of hydrogen is that we're of course creating water vapor. Um, that is the exhaust, is water vapor, and that condensed in the exhaust and created a lot of rust. And the, the exhaust literally rusted off. So I literally just sliced it open here so we can run the engine straight pipe. I think it does sound pretty cool. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so the engine's mounted. Uh, I've connected the gas supply line uh, to feed the hydrogen to the hydrogen carburetor. Uh, I'm just gonna be throttling it manually. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the stand that I've got set up here. Uh, I'll start the engine at three PSI of hydrogen gas. Uh, and then I'll increase it to 6 psi, just see what happens. I suspect on an engine this size, it will start backfiring at 6 psi. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, looks like I just blew the engine, or oh, something's gone. Uh, the engine's making some weird rattling noise, but I'm not sure what it is. I increased the hydrogen gas pressure to 6 psi, I thought the engine could cope with that, or it has coped with it in the past. Uh, I throttled the engine up, absolutely fine, and all of a sudden, bang, just cut off. So. Uh, That'll, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'll do a disassembly of the engine in another video, try and find out what happened. Uh, quite a surprise that happened to be honest, it's the first engine that's properly done that to me. Hopefully uh, I'll be able to find out what it was and what's caused it. Um, well at least we got to see or hear what the engine sounded like while it was, while it was running. Awesome, thanks for watching.